Hello and welcome to Universal Studios Hollywood where we are inside the park for the first time in a year for the Taste of Universal For the first event. time in a year, Los Angeles area theme park fans can walk into the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It's for the Taste of Universal Food Festival event that's going on right now, but the park itself should be reopened fairly soon. It can open after the first of the month. Taste of Universal runs through the 11th of April. And we're waiting the official opening day, but for then, before that, I just can't skip this opportunity to actually walk through Hogsmeade once again. So let's take a little walking tour. Fans are queued up outside the Three Broomsticks, which is open for the food festival today, but none of the attractions are open. If you want to go visit Monty Myrtle, you can use the public conveniences. And even though the attractions aren't open, people are still bringing their wands at the interactive windows. And this is the site for very sore eyes that a lot of fans in California have been awaiting for quite some time to be able to walk up to Hogwarts Castle. Unfortunately, we can't go on Forbidden Journey just yet, but it's here, you can get close, you can get this picture, you can get this wonderful look. And uh, that'll do for now, unless somebody wants to book a trip to Orlando or Osaka. Or maybe even Beijing later this spring, where the Wizarding World for Harry Potter will be opening at the new Universal Studios Beijing. Let's get a little glimpse here of Flight of the Hippogriff again, closed for the moment. The stage, outdoor performance stage, has become an outdoor dining area. Okay, folks. Pro tip, instead of that big long line with the three broomsticks at the very front, there's a wizard out here with a butterbeer park cart with no waiting, head to the back of the land, always, always, always head to the back of the land for the... And it is as good. As I remember it. And now let's head down to Super Silly Funland and the world of the Minions walking through Paris Street here on our way to the, well, it was the uh, Gruz Lab Cafe a while ago, and it's now reopened as the Minion Cafe. We're going to check out what they've got available here at Taste of Universal. We got some loaded mac and cheese. We got a grilled cheese with some meatballs. And we've got some loaded nachos there too. Right around the corner from Super Silly Funland is the new Secret Life of Pets Off the Leash ride. Let's take a look at the new store that's opened. The pet store is now open at the exit of the Secret Life of Pets store, Selling a whole bunch of, well, pets. <laughs> 